Bubbles and Spikey both have found a beautiful pebble. They argue over whose pebble is the biggest. To find out which pebble is bigger, we can either compare their length or volume. Length and volume are called physical quantities. Other examples of physical quantities are mass, time, temperature, and so on. All physical quantities can be measured with a measuring instrument. For instance, we measure temperature with a thermometer and time with a stopwatch. So, Bubbles and Spiky don't have to argue. We can measure whose pebble is the biggest. We can measure the length or the volume of the pebbles. Let's measure the length of the pebbles first. There are different instruments that can measure length depending on the accuracy that we need. A measuring tape can measure objects from a few millimeters up to a few meters. A meter rule can measure in millimeters and centimeters. A veneer caliper is used for objects between one millimeter and one centimeter. And finally, a screw gauge can be used for objects smaller than a millimeter, such as wires. A pebble can be a few centimeters long, so we can use a meter rule to measure its length. We place the meter rule next to the pebble and make sure one end of the pebble is at the zero of the meter rule. The meter rule scale consists of centimeters and millimeters. When we measure with the meter rule, we first count the number of centimeters and then add the millimeters. We can now see that Bubbles' pebble is 2 centimeters and 7 millimeters long. We measure Spikey's pebble the same way. Bubbles' pebble is longer than Spikey's. What if Spikey moves his eye slightly to one side so that instead of 2.3 centimeters, he reads 2.8 centimeters. Won't that make his pebble larger? Spikey is committing a parallax error. A parallax error occurs when we do not correctly align our eye with the measuring scale so that our reading becomes inaccurate. Because of this, Spikey is reading the length of his pebble incorrectly. Similarly, if he moves his eye to the other side, he will also be committing parallax error since his reading will be too low. Bubble's pebble is longer than Spikey's. But is it bigger? We can also measure the volume of the pebble and see which pebble takes up more space. We can measure the volume of an object or a liquid with a measuring cylinder, a tube filled with a liquid. Usually, a measuring cylinder is measured in cubic centimeters. To measure with the measuring cylinder, we take the following steps. First, we pour water in a measuring cylinder. Then we make sure that our eye is level with the bottom of the surface of the liquid in the cylinder. This is called the meniscus. Always take the middle of the meniscus to measure. The liquid can curve up or down in the cylinder as a result of the attraction of the liquid with the cylinder. Record the volume of the liquid by recording where the bottom of the meniscus falls. We can measure the volume of an object by adding it to the cylinder and measuring the difference in volume. Let's measure the volume of Bubbles' pebble. First, we measure the volume of the cylinder with water, but without the pebble. We measure 10 cubic centimeters. We write this down as V1. Then, we add Bubbles' pebble and note down the new position of the meniscus. It now measures 16.7 cubic centimeters. This is V2. To calculate the volume of her pebble, we calculate V equals V2 minus V1. The volume of her pebble is 6.7 cubic centimeters. Now, let's do an exercise with Spikey's pebble. First, we measure V1. What is the volume of the liquid without the pebble? The volume of the liquid is 10 cubic centimeters. Now, we add Spikey's pebble. What is V2? The volume of the liquid with the pebble? The volume of the liquid with the pebble is 17.5 cubic centimeters. 
What is the volume of Spikey's pebble? The volume of the pebble is V2 minus V1. That is 17.5 minus 10, which equals 7.5 cubic centimeters. Spikey's pebble has a bigger volume than bubbles. We've measured the length and the volume of the pebbles. We've seen that bubbles' pebble is longer, but that Spikey's pebble has a bigger volume. So both pebbles are bigger in different ways. To summarize, we use measuring instruments to measure physical quantities. Length can be measured with a measuring tape, a meter rule, a vernier caliper, or a screw gauge. Volume can be measured with a measuring cylinder. When we measure volume in a measuring cylinder, always look at the bottom or top of the meniscus.